our guest, Dr. Anthony Yoon, is one of the most well-known and respected cosmetic surgeons. And although he makes his living giving people facelifts, he says, why get a facelift when you can get a life lift? His straight-up advice has gained him over 8 million followers just on TikTok. Take a look. You've probably heard doctors say on this app that salicylic acid is a great treatment for acne. And that is fact, not cap. Here are three ways to naturally improve the collagen in your skin. Selena's been through enough. Let's just say she looks gorgeous and leave her alone. Let's treat each other with kindness and encouragement instead of assuming that pithy sayings like calories in, calories out is the final answer. There you go. Well, Dr. Yoon's new book, Younger for Life, shares his revolutionary process called autojuvenation. That is the natural way your body, your body, can rejuvenate itself to reverse aging. And Dr. Anthony Yoon joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, such a fascinating journey. You've been a cosmetic surgeon for 20 years. I know in your book, you said there was one point in your life where you would gauge your success by how many facelifts you were doing. Exactly, yeah, because the cream of the crop, if you're a plastic surgeon, is doing a facelift. And, you know, people may trust anybody almost to do their lipo, but if they're trusting you with their face, yeah. you know that you've, got, you've gotten there. So business was great, business was good, you're hugely popular, and then you had a patient who came in and tragedy struck, and it woke yes. you up in this way. Yes, so a patient of mine, not her fault, not my fault, had a terrible complication, and it really sent me reeling, and, and it got me thinking, was I taught wrong? I was always taught that the goal of being a plastic surgeon was to bring people to the operating room, and I realized that that goal was completely wrong. It's the opposite. My goal of being a plastic surgeon should be not to bring people to the operating room, but to keep them out of the yeah. operating room. And so I came up with this concept of autojuvenation. And autojuvenation yes. is using our own body. Exactly. So using your body's own regenerative abilities to turn back the clock and rejuvenate itself. But the key is that you've got to give your body the right tools and the right environment to do so. Okay. So there are three main principles with autojuvenation. Yep. And the first one is what you eat. This really is the absolute foundation of healthy and youthful skin. Okay. And one simple thing is to eat the rainbow of fruits and vegetables. But that's like advice from the beginning of time. Why don't we get it? Because is it, why is it so There's hard? There's actually, <laughs> because it's so much easier to drink, let's say, uh, a soft drink yeah. or you know, a, a sugary drink than it is to actually eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah. But there are phytonutrients, there are antioxidants in the actual pigment of the fruits and vegetables that will fight oxidation, right, which so is one of the So look for anything agers. colorful and beautiful. Feel free to blend it. Smoothies are great. Great ways to great. get those antioxidants okay. and those phytonutrients. Okay, and moving on here. So the second part of autojuvenation is non-invasive treatments. And okay. these can really be helpful. And a lot of these you can do at home. One of the big ones is red light therapy. There are many studies to show that the use of red light right. therapy on your skin can help to actually power mitochondria to cause your body to look and to feel younger. So these are dermaplaning blades. Yeah. And one of the things we do in our office is we do dermaplaning. It costs about $100 to get the treatment, but you can buy these dermaplaning blades online. And what this does essentially is it gets rid of that upper layer of vellus hair mm -hmm. and it exfoliates your skin. The act of exfoliating your skin can actually send a cellular signal to the deeper layers of your skin to turn over more quickly. And one of the reasons why we age and our skin gets rougher right. and, and thicker as we age is that we're not exfoliating appropriately. And this can is a very and simple, inexpensive tool to help you do is that. Is there a right or a wrong way to do this? You want to be gentle and okay. you never want to go this way. You only want to go this way. Okay. And then we have, of course, skin care, which again, you are very mindful of what type of skin care you recommend. Yes, so there are certain ingredients in skin care that are scientifically proven to definitely help your skin. Mm -hmm. So one of the things in Younger for Life is a two minutes, five years younger skin care routine, oh. where we literally put people, it takes two minutes a day, and we tested people and found that after two months, people looked upwards of five two minutes. years younger. Wow. Two minutes a day, that's it. Okay. Two key parts of it is an antioxidant serum every morning, okay. like a vitamin C serum, okay? And if you wanna ideally even increase the amount of antioxidants that vitamin C, you combine it with vitamin E. Okay. So vitamin C and vitamin E every morning, and then you wanna use a retinol every night. Well, we have a member of the TAM fam, Angelita Bird. She sent this video, she wanted you to take a look at it. My name is Angelita, I'm 51 years old, and in 2024, I need to revamp my lifestyle. One thing I know I can work on is creating a new skincare routine. I noticed some puffiness under my eyes 
and some fine lines on my forehead. I really don't put on sunscreen except for in the summertime when I'm on vacation. I do a scrub twice a week and I put lotion on my face and that's really it. In terms of my diet, I do eat clean, but sometimes I get so busy, I just forget to eat. I would definitely like to build a real routine to help me feel and look my absolute best in the new year. Hi. So, Angelita is here with us. Um, Angelita, you live in Philadelphia. You're a real estate. You're in real estate. Love Philly in the house always. Um, <laughs> And your mom and grandmom of three. Yes. So you're very, very busy. To me, I mean, flawless here, yeah. but it's about what you want to accomplish. How, how does life feel for you right now? <sighs> That's a very good question. Um, it feels amazing, mm. but also, too, it's exhausting. Mm. So it's kind of like a duality yeah. right now. What do you uh, want more of in 2024? I want more of uh, good health. Mm -hmm. I want more energy. I want more time for myself. I want more love. Yeah. I want more freedom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so Dr. Yu, you know, time is of the essence mm -hmm. and wanting to feel good. I, I'm fascinated by this two minute skincare or, or this uplift that you, you talk about because to Angelita's point, Time is limited, but she's looking for a routine. Yes, so what I would recommend, very simple. Every morning, cleanse your skin. Do you have drier skin or do you have more oily skin? Kind of in between, I would say. Okay, so try to pick one that's, um, I'd say like a gentle foaming type cleanser, usually works real well. And then you want to apply an antioxidant, like a vitamin C serum, like yeah. we talked about. And then ideally apply a sunscreen, at least SPF 30. That's technically all you have to do in the morning. That will protect your skin throughout the day. In the evening, super important, you got to wash your skin. You got to cleanse your skin. You got to get rid of that day's worth of grime, dirt, oil, the makeup. If you need to double cleanse, feel free to do that. And then apply a retinol at night. Okay, just every night put that on. And then if you need to, apply a moisturizer on top of that. Make sure you get your six to eight hours of sleep at least every night. Mm -hmm. Turn the uh, room temperature down to 68 degrees. Whoa. Maybe, yep, hmm. 68. That's the ideal temperature for most people uh, for 68 sleeping. 68 degrees? 68 Does degrees. Does anyone sleep at 68 degrees? Yeah. A few people? Yeah. You do? Yeah. We have polar bears in this audience. <laughs> I'm like, this is a news line, 68 degrees? Yes, and get a weighted blanket if you can. And that's that typically, studies show that is the ideal temperature for sleeping. Hmm. Wow. I mean, everyone, so the, the, you have divided my audience on this 68 degrees. Well, we'll learn more about sleeping at 68 degrees and using our own body to heal itself. Dr. Yoon, thank you so much. Angelita, thank you. here's the deal. I say we'll learn more because if you grab Dr. Yoon's new book, Younger for Life, it is out now where books are sold. It is packed with some of the information we discuss. And studio audience, guess what? You're all going home with Dr. You're also going home with Dr. Yoon's Yoon Beauty CE Antioxidant Serum. There you have it. We're starting off 2024. We're giving you more gifts because you know we have to always give gifts.